Hello, hello. Welcome or welcome back. My name is Danielle and we're gonna jump straight into my very first what I eat in a week. So I'm starting off with some cinnamon and spice black tea. I'm just gonna pop that tea bag right into my insulated cup along with some boiling water and just allow the tea to steep. After a few minutes, I go ahead and remove the tea bag and then I'm going to sweeten my tea with some clover honey and I just use a tablespoon. And that's usually enough. Sometimes it might need a little bit more depending on how much the tea has steeped or how flavorful the tea is. But yeah, that's it. Pop in one tablespoon of honey and give it a stir. For breakfast, I'm gonna have some oatmeal, so I just keep my half cup measuring spoon inside the container of the oats. That makes it really easy to measure out the right portion. And then I'm just gonna add some water, microwave it, and after it came out, it was a little bit dry, so I went ahead and added a little bit more water, gave it another stir, and then to season it, I'm gonna add in some salt. The salt just kind of brings out the flavor of everything else that you add. I'm also adding some peanut butter, about a half tablespoon, and then some honey. Give it one final stir, and then I'm also gonna top it off with some fresh banana. For lunch, I'm gonna have leftovers, and the recipe for this is actually already up on my channel, so you can check that out. It was a dinner like a kind of thrown together pantry dinner. So I went ahead and heated up some of the rice and I'm also gonna heat up the beans. And then to top it off, I just added some green onion and on the side I'm gonna have some of this kick and bacon ranch salad kit. This one comes with like cheese tortilla strips. It also comes with bacon, but I'm gonna skip that. And it comes with some jalapeno cheddar, no, jalapeno dressing, I think it is. So good. And that is lunch. For a snack, I had a handful of pretzels. I'm sure I had more than this as the serving is 22. And then later on, I had a chocolate strawberry smoothie. Literally just strawberries and chocolate almond milk. It'll change your life, give it a try. For dinner, I had cauliflower wings, which I cooked in the air fryer. I've featured this recipe on my channel several times at this point, so I will link at least one of those videos below for you guys to check it out. But here's what one of them looks like. And these were delicious. These are definitely like one of my favorite ways to eat cauliflower. They hit every single time. Try them out. And recently I have a slight obsession with these pies. I don't know what it is, but I have not been able to not buy them when I go to Walmart. Fortunately, I don't live near a Walmart that sells them, so it works out. For breakfast, I had a egg wrap, I think it was. So I'm starting off with some peppers and onion, and I'm just gonna go ahead and give all these a chop, or slice, or dice, or whatever. Now I'm gonna go ahead and saute these in a hot skillet. And although you don't see me do it, trust me when I say I season these with salt and pepper. And I just allowed them to cook until they were ready.
So I went ahead and saved some of them for a subsequent meal, but for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and add in two beaten eggs and just kind of shake those around the pan so they can coat the bottom of the pan fully. And then I'm gonna add a whole wheat tortilla. Oh, I'm gonna add some green onions first, and then a whole wheat tortilla. And this is going to create my wrap. So as you saw there, that was a fail of epic proportions. We all messed up sometimes. So rather than trying to turn it over with the spatula, I just went ahead and flipped it out onto a plate and then just kind of scooted it back in the pan upside down. Now we have our discombobulated wrap. I added some Parmesan cheese and now I'm adding in some black beans for some additional protein. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and close the wrap up and allow it to cook on both sides and get nice and crispy. I served it with some tomato and half of a mini avocado and I went ahead and seasoned those with salt, pepper, and garlic powder. And then I also had a grapefruit to go along with it. For lunch, I had a chicken Greek bowls. So this recipe is gonna be in an upcoming meal prep video. Literally, it's just chicken, rice, cucumber, tomato, feta cheese, and tzatziki sauce. And then I went ahead and topped mine with a little bit of red onion at the end as well, but I promise you, this is delicious it's one of my favorite things outside of burrito bowls this is just another way to have like that bowl experience with all the flavors meshing together and it's amazing another day another smoothie so this time i'm taking fresh strawberries that i needed to use up before they went bad along with a banana some ice some almond milk and possibly some honey uh and that was it blend 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 and smoothie time it's a great way to get in your fruits and vegetables without having to actually eat them. So I love smoothies. These need no introduction, baked lays, sour cream and onion, greatest of all time. I love these. And are we back at dinner already? Okay, so I had leftover cauliflower buffalo wings or cauliflower wings and they did not hit this time. They don't taste good when you don't eat them immediately. So keep that in mind. And then I ended the night with a Dr. Pepper and cream soda zero. The marketing got me, not even gonna lie. I almost forgot to record this, but I put two and a half tablespoons of this Almond Joy creamer, and I also put a half tablespoon of honey. Well, I haven't actually put it into the coffee yet, but here is my coffee cup. There's my honey, and my coffee's brewing. For breakfast, I believe we're doing yet another egg wrap, but this time I'm gonna go ahead and scramble the eggs. One, because my kids wanted scrambled eggs, so it just made it easier to do it all at one time and just kind of add the scrambled eggs into my wrap as opposed to trying to do two separate cook sessions. I wasn't here for it. So, yep, scrambled eggs inside of a wrap, leftover peppers, probably some black beans potentially, and that is breakfast. This time I switched it up a little bit and served it not only with avocado but also with some leftover green beans because I didn't want them to go bad. And that was breakfast. And then for a snack I had a cinnamon and brown sugar breakfast biscuit. These are really low in calories, like 115. Got them at the dollar store. And we're back to the baked lays. Y'all know these are, these just hit. I don't know, they're good, period. Now for lunch or dinner, I don't know which this is, but this is another meal prep. It's just an Asian salad with wonton strips and almonds, 
along with some shrimp. I'm gonna go ahead and add my sesame ginger dressing on top, give it a shake, 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 and it's time to eat. Next, I have some mango wine. I got this from Aldi. This was in my most recent grocery haul video, so check that one out. And then later on that evening, for some extra fruit, or some fruit, because I don't think I had any, I'm having a smoothie with the cherry berry blend from Aldi, as well as some strawberries and a banana, and then I'm gonna blend it up with some chocolate almond milk. And now we are back with another oatmeal breakfast. I always do a half cup of oats, water, salt, microwave it every single time. And then I added some honey on top along with some hemp seeds for some omega-3s and a banana. For lunch, I have some rice and quinoa, and I'm gonna add some shredded chicken and then pop this in the microwave to heat it up. And now that I got that all done, I'm adding in some red onion, cucumber, and tomato, and I'm sure you guys know where this is going. We're making yet another Greek chicken bowl, this time with quinoa, that's the only difference, and then we're gonna top it off with some tzatziki sauce and feta cheese. Yum. And this is completely unrelated, but I just wanted to show you guys Corey's lunch little plate because it was so cute. She had chicken nuggets, rice, cucumber, and cantaloupe. And I thought this was like the cutest little plate ever. So I recorded it. And then I had some cantaloupe as well for like a mid-afternoon snack. Dinner is yet another meal prep. This time we have some quinoa, rice, shrimp and green beans. And then I'm just gonna add some sweet chili and teriyaki sauce to my rice and quinoa and that completes my meal. Later that evening, just to get in an additional fruit, I had some pretzels and chips along with a mashed avocado and these are the salt and pepper ridged chips from Trader Joe's and the pretzels I believe are just from Walmart, just the Walmart brand. The next morning I made another cup of the cinnamon spice black tea. This is from Wegmans, also in that recent grocery haul and shop with me. All right, we're having a new breakfast today. <laughs> Avocado toast that is seasoned with um, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and pepper. I also topped it with some red pepper flake and two eggs. And I'm just gonna go in with the hot sauce. Lately, I like the Texas Pete hot sauce and I just kind of douse it and that's it. For lunch, I had a craving for tacos, so I took the leftover shredded chicken and seasoned it up, and I created a whole separate video for that, so if you wanna know how to turn your shredded chicken into taco meat, watch that one. I put the taco shells under the broiler to heat them up and get them crispy, and then I topped the tacos with cheese, pico de gallo, and sour cream. Dinner was the exact same meal, except I went ahead and included some Spanish rice with it. Not very much nutritional value, but I promise you, it was delicious. And then I also topped it with some fire Taco Bell taco sauce that I found in my refrigerator from a recent taco night. And then my son sniffed out this cookie dough that I made like a few weeks ago. I don't know how kids always find like the, the good stuff, but he sliced them and baked them and this is how they turned out. We cooked them in the air fryer and these were amazing, oh my goodness. So good, so, so good. And then later on that night, I had this blueberry fig bar. On Saturday morning, I decided to go to Barnes & Noble and get some work done, and of course I took you guys along with me. And after a while, I decided to get something to eat, so I got this spinach and feta stuffed pretzel 
from the cafe inside Barnes and Noble. It was hot, but it was actually really good. So I would recommend that if you are, if you happen to be there. And then for lunch, I took my son to Chick-fil-A. I actually didn't get anything from Chick-fil-A because I knew my husband and I were going to go out later. I had like a couple of his fries and I just wanted to show y'all this. He's pulling talky dust out of his pocket so that he can put it on top of macaroni and cheese. He had blue talky dust and he saved it and specifically asked me to go to Chick-fil-A on our little date so that he could put talkie dust in his macaroni and cheese y'all <laughs> and then later on that evening me and my husband went out and just hung out for a little bit and I went to this kebab place and then I got some yiddo I got a yiddo platter so I got the yiddo meat with some tzatziki sauce a little side salad some rice and some chickpeas and this was amazing oh my god it was so good if i can remember the name of the place i will link it below oh yeah it also came with a side of pita bread and then my husband got chilies and of course i ordered in the app and check your app y'all because you a lot of times you do have coupons in there so we got a free dessert with his meal and we got the cheesecake and shared it I really only had a few bites of it and then later on that night when I got home I had some strawberries the next day I went to Panera and got a chocolate chip bagel I asked them to toast it and put a little bit of butter on top and then I also got a four cheese egg souffle and this hits y'all I love the egg souffles at Panera Bread. I've tried to recreate them. Mine don't come out the same. Theirs is so good. I don't know what they do. All three flavors are good. It comes with like a ham and Swiss, the four cheese, and bacon and spinach. All three are delicious. So you won't go wrong no matter which one you pick. But yeah, highly recommend. And then later that day, we went to the mall and got dinner in the food court. So I got like this three meat meal from the Asian place that was in the food court I got the chicken and broccoli I got bourbon chicken and I also got the chicken it was some, some kind of like spicy fried chicken thing it was bomb and then I got white rice and noodles and I ended up sharing this with my son it was way too much food for me to eat alone but so good and that rounds out my week of meals I hope you guys enjoyed it and of course I'm gonna make more videos just like this one so subscribe and I'll see you next time bye